A machine has been designed to cut logs into equal lengths, each of one meter length. If the machine works continuously, it heats up. This in turn reduces the precision of the machine. The following data represent the amount of error in the machine measured at different machine use times. Evaluate the correlation coefficient for these data. Is it appropriate to fit these data by a straight line? Evaluate the equation of the line of best fit. Write down the units for quantities you calculate. What does the slope represent? What does the y-intercept represent? Using the equation of the line of best fit, how much error would you expect after three days of continuous work? The correlation coefficient equation is n sum x y minus sum x sum y divided by root n sum x squared minus sum of x squared times root n sum y squared minus sum of the y's squared. In this equation, n represents the number of data points. Here we have 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 data points in our problem. n is equal to 6. And because we are interested in how many millimeters of error we would have after how many hours of time, we will call this row the y and this row the x. The other choice, that is calling the millimeters of error in machine x and the hours of machine use y, would also not be incorrect. But to make sense of things, it would be easier to take the error as y and the time as x. Now we need to calculate the quantities appearing in the equation for the correlation coefficient. These are sum x, which would be adding all the x values in this problem. And that those are 30, 33, 34, 37, 39, and 42. Sum of the y values, that is adding 1.11, 1 1.20, 1.25, 1.39, 1.43, and 1.51. And then we need to also calculate sum of the xy, and that is we need to multiply the numbers in each column, let's say first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column, and sixth column, and then add these numbers. Sum of x squared would be squaring the numbers on the first row and adding the results. Sum of y squared would be squaring the numbers of the second row and adding the results. I have done this for this problem. This is what I have found. Sum of the x values is 215 sum of the y values is 7.89 sum of the xy is two hundred eighty six point zero two sum of the x squared values would be seven thousand seven hundred and ninety nine and sum of the y squared values would be ten point four nine one seven. We can plug this into the equation for R and we would have R is equal to six times two hundred eighty six point zero two minus two hundred fifteen times seven point eight nine divided by root of 6 times 7,799 
minus 215 squared times root of 6 times 10.4917 minus 7.89 squared. Using a calculator, we find that this is approximately 0.99, which is very close to 1. That indicates that there is a strong correlation between strong correlation between the values of y and x. Now, we would like to find the equation of the line of best fit. That is the second part of the question, part B. The equation for M, which is the slope of that line, is N sum xy minus sum x sum y divided by N sum x squared minus sum of the x values squared. And once I plug in what I have found from before, I would have 6 times 286.02 minus 215 times 7.89 in the numerator and in the denominator I would have 6 times 7799 minus 215 squared. Once we use our calculator, this approximately becomes 0 0.035. To find the value of B, there are different equations we could use, but the easiest equation to use is B is equal to Y bar minus M X bar. Y bar is the average of the Y values we have, and X bar is the average of the x values we have. And m is the quantity we found here. That is the slope of the line of best fit. This is indeed sum of the y squared divided by the number of data points minus m, sum of the x values divided by the number of data points. We can now plug in the values that we found. This is equal to 7.89 divided by 6 minus 0 0.035 times sum of the x values, which is 215, divided by 6. This uh, is approximately equal to 0 0.07. The equation of the line of best fit is, therefore, y is equal to 0 0.035 times x plus 0 0.07. Now, in order to better understand what this re equation really is, we remember that y somehow represents the amount of error generated in the machine because of the time that the machine has operated. I am going to show, instead of y, e, to represent the error. And the unit of error, in this case, would be millimeters. This is equal to 0 0.035 times x. And x represents the number of hours that the machine has operated. Therefore, I write, instead of x, t plus 0 0.07. And according to our data, T is given in hours. We are also interested in the units of the slope and the y-intercept. Now the slope should have the unit of millimeters per hour. And 
the y-intercept should have the unit of millimeters. The reason for this identification is this. Let's show the unit of any quantity, for example, error, by brackets around the error. Therefore, the unit of error would be millimeters. For example, the unit of mass would be kilogram. If you wanted to show that, you would say the unit of mass is kilograms. Or it could be milligrams or other units of mass. Now, the unit of time in our problem is hour. And we believe that the unit of 0 0.035 is millimeters per hour. This would make sense if we look into what happens when we multiply 0 0.035 with t. Then the unit of 0 0.035 would be millimeters per hour. And when we multiply that into the unit of time, which is hour, we get the unit of error, which is millimeters. And things stay consistent. For a similar reason, the unit of B must be millimeters. Otherwise, we could not add or subtract B from E which is in millimeters, and we know that. Part C of the problem asks for how we interpret the meaning, the physical meaning, of the slope. The slope is m, which is 0 0.035 millimeters per hour. It is the amount of error generated in one hour in millimeters. In other words, if the machine works for one hour, the error in the machine increases by 0 0.035 millimeters. Part D of the question asks about what the y-intercept represents. To understand that, let's rewrite the equation of the line of best fit we've found so far. E is equal to 0 0.035 t plus 0 0.07. If we put t equal to 0 in this equation, we see that E would be equal to 0 0.035 times 0 plus 0 0.07, which is equal to 0 0.07. 0 0.07 millimeters. Therefore, we see that at the beginning, the error of the machine is 0 0.07 millimeters. This is before we start the machine and before the machine starts heating up and increasing error. In fact, this is, you could call it, the inherent error in the machine. Part E of the question asks for what we call extrapolation. So we're going to use the line of best fit to make guesses about values that we have not measured in the experiment. We would like to know after three days of continuous work how much error 
would be generated in the machine. Therefore, what is given is the time, which is three days, which is equivalent to three days times 24 hours per day, which is 72 hours. And the error is to be found, which is equal to 0 0.035 times t, which is 72 in hours, plus 0 0.075. 07, and that becomes approximately 2.6 millimeters. This is the conclusion we can make. The line of best fit that we found was found by, let's look at the original data, was found by studying the machine between 30 hours to 42 hours of work. Whether the same pattern of generating error would be observed after 42 hours is something which is quite questionable. But if we assume that the same pattern of generating error would exist based on how much time the machine has been on, then we could say that approximately 2.6 millimeters of error would be generated in the machine after three continuous days of work.